Yeah, this is life, man. Wake up super early, go to the gym, eat your five to six clean meals, drink all your two gallons of water, and spend as much time with your family as you possibly can. And um, if I do that every day for the next, I don't know, 30 or 40 years, I would say I have a pretty damn good life, man. Can you uh, say hi hi for YouTube, Santino? Yeah, that's where we blow his nose. Yeah, yeah you nose. got yeah, boogies. Where are we going? Go get your bike. I feel bad if I'm like training at like 11 a.m., but yeah. he's awake. These are prime like playing hours. So I think there's something like to do with like not wanting to miss out on your toddler years. But you can't get those back. <laughs> he almost hit you. you guys thought I was joking about like really being off season. So I'll even put this in a shake. And um, you know, for a hard gainer, like I mentioned, you need to get the calories in, even if it's dirty calories. If you're training hard, it's not gonna be tough to burn a thousand calories during a workout. Um, but when you're working out extremely hard, like make sure you stay hydrated, okay? So it's very important that you hydrate like a champ. And uh, <laughs> I'm totally joking. <laughs> Now, I don't know if I told you guys, but like right now we're in the mass building phase of my preparations. I'm looking to compete around May or June. So most likely it's gonna be Pittsburgh or New York Pro. It would be great to win Pittsburgh Pro again or win New York Pro again for, uh, for instance. But um, I'm gonna just start prepping and see where my body is at rather than putting a strict deadline on things. So we start off the preparation around 212 pounds. Today, I was 222 pounds within the six weeks. So realistically, I would love to be 245, but I'm thinking really around 232, another 10 more pounds would be a really reasonable and achievable goal for myself, considering I compete around 210. So it's always good to have more than enough muscle or mass rather on the off season. But right now, I'm gonna prepare some meal, Got my rice cooker. I keep this cooking all day, guys. If you don't have a rice cooker, you should invest in one. They're like 35, 40 bucks on Amazon. More expensive ones on Amazon, but don't spend a tremendous amount of money. And if you guys don't already have one, a food scale, get them on Amazon, 20 bucks. It's invaluable to measure your food. You'll be surprised, um, you know, what a difference from like six ounces to eight ounces is when it comes to carbs, proteins. Um, and then fats, you can really get carried over. Nothing fancy here, obviously. Chicken is a crucial part of my diet. What I like to do is I have a rule of thumb that 50% of my plate has to be protein, okay? I'm not here measuring, just eyeball it, okay? So 50% of the plate is protein. And then I like to do any kind of greens for another 25% of the plate. And now the remaining 25% of the plate is always gonna be some kind of carbohydrate. And today we have rice, but it could be potatoes, it could be oatmeal, um, it could be an array of different carbohydrates. Sweet potato, I absolutely love. Pasta, especially on your off season, pasta is a big one for me. So we'll do about two scoops. And now, even if you don't have a food scale, if you're just eyeballing this, this is a great way to make sure you stay on track. Um, another way you could use this analogy is one hand for protein, and then a fist and a fist for veggies and carbs. Great way to do things if you don't wanna use a food scale. I've been doing this for so long, I don't need the food scale right now. It comes more in handy when you're actually cutting weight. And when it comes to off season, spices, sauces, like this is all great. Even if you wanna use some fresh lemon and just put some fresh lemon on your food, 
this one's already opened. I don't know what this is, but my friend gave this to me in the gym and this is really good. Now, the days where I'm not having chicken, well, I do have chicken like every day, but I'll alternate chicken with whitefish, steak. Every day I have one steak meal um, or red meat meal for that instance. I'll also do ground turkey, eggs. So there's all great protein sources when it comes to like my personal diet. And what I like to do is I actually like to do one fish, one red meat, one chicken, one turkey, and then two egg white meals. Huge believer in egg whites on the off season because they're really easy to digest, quick to cook. Make sure you stay on point and definitely invest in a bunch of these containers. Get the glass ones because the plastic ones have a tendency to like kind of get a little gunked up after a while. Like I even have a whole drawer dedicated to just Tupperwares. And I've been collecting these for a while. When it comes to like vitamins, normal health stuff, get yourself a good men's multivitamin. This one's from Garden of Life, they're a great brand. Um, I have no affiliation to these companies, by the way. Vitamin C, it's good for overall health. Zinc, another great one, also great for many reasons. I was using this actually for my fertility treatment to raise my natural testosterone level. Omega-3, another one of my favorite, I love omega-3. Um, I'll actually take four pills per day, two at breakfast and then two again in the evening. Vitamin D3, especially now, it's cold in New York. I'm getting very little sunlight. I'm staying covered up. Vitamin D3 is great. And what I also take, which I ran out, was a CLQ10. And then this one, boom, boom, boom. Take two pills before any athletic performance. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I got a bunch of stuff in there. The trend, all that stuff is hidden back in there, okay? So everyone's gonna be asking about the trend. And then obviously, since I already worked out, protein. I already had the protein this morning before I worked out and then one scoop after my workout. I'll actually make it into a shake with like a banana oatmeal. This way it has a little more substance to it. Or I took my C4 this morning. And uh, yeah, so this is just what a typical day of nutrition looks like for me. Eating five meals and one shake per day, trying to stay on top of my vitamins, my supplementation. And you also see me, I gotta go run out later and get some rest and recovery going on with a stretch session. So stay tuned for that. Blueberry. Um, nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. That's enough, Bubba. Thank you. That was delicious. He doesn't eat them. He only likes to feed them to me like he don't eat them himself. Oh, all right, guys. Santino was asleep. Now I'm gonna run out to get a stretch session in with my friend Carissa. She's like one of the best um, when it comes to stretching, like especially in the area. Um, I think she actually trained a lot of different stretch therapists out here. Definitely part of the program. Eat, train, rest and recover. Or in this case, stretch and recover. Have a big hug. I need a big hug. You? Good, good to see you. Hey, God, I haven't been here. This is amazing. So what's going on? Normal stuff. My hips. Tight. My hips hurt. They're tight. So sometimes when I stand up, I'm like this, and then it takes me like two minutes yeah, to get from so here good. to here. Okay. Like even right now, I feel like why is this happening to me? Is no. this from ab movements? Is it from training, it's sleeping? Training, sleeping, ab movements. Okay. Could be from squats. Mm -hmm. You don't run, do you? Never. I you never ran my whole life. You run the treadmill a lot. Never. Cardio. I've never done cardio. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I barely do cardio. It's definitely lifting. I do cardio for like ten weeks, like before a show. Yeah, That's it. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, it's been a year and a half. Like so I could be sitting. Could be driving. I sit a lot. Sitting a lot. I sit yes. a lot. That is what a typical day looks like 
in the life of a top IFBB pro, getting ready to make his comeback back on stage. Family, food, training, and recovery. Keep it simple, guys. Love what you do. Peace out.